What's going on, guys? And welcome, welcome back to another installment of, uh, you know, chaos. What, what else is there? Now, what I want to talk about today is what I've been kind of quiet on, and that's been TNA. Uh, of course, everybody knows that TNA had a pay-per-view Sunday. And I didn't do too great on my picks. I'll be the first to admit it, and I'll eat crow again. Uh, I'm either eating crow or, crow or steak. Not croak, whatever you, that means. Anyway, uh, a few things that, that's come out of... Uh, that come out of Victory Road. It it seems to me like TNA doesn't care about tag teams anymore. It looks like they're causing a rift between Jen Me and uh, Ink Ink as well as Gunner and Murphy uh, after watching Impact tonight. And I just don't know. TNA used to have such a great tag team division, and they put a lot of emphasis on their tag team division. But you split up Team 3D, you split up the Motor City Machine Guns, kind of unofficially, uh, because Shelly was down with a uh, collarbone, and I think he's still he's still working on trying to come back. I don't know that he's medically cleared to come back yet. I don't know. Uh, Ink Ink, Jen Me. What tag teams do you have left? I mean, you really have no tag teams left. Like, the only tag teams you've got left is now the this new Mexican-American stable, Mex, Mex, Mexican America, or whatever their name is, uh, with Hernandez and this other guy. I don't even know his name. Only because I choose not to go research it. Uh, one thing that, that kind of pissed me off about uh, TNA Impact earlier tonight was the fact that you know Madison Rain has been doing these open challenges. I've been very, very vocal over the last two or three or four months, you know, talking about how good Madison has been and how relevant she is and how everything that she's doing is really, really good and how. Tina's building her up the right way, and it was it was sort of uh, gratifying to see TNA actually do something to build somebody up the way that they need to be, and I, I've absolutely loved it. Uh, I'm not going to say that I'm totally disappointed and pissed off. I still call bullshit, though, about what happened on Impact earlier tonight. You had another open challenge, Madison Rain, uh, and... Instead of it being a hard fought, you know, back and forth match like even the Roxy match was or the ODB match was when they came back, TNA decides to bring back Alyssa, Alyssa Flash, aka uh, Melissa Anderson. Everybody knows that I absolutely love uh, Melissa. I do. I think she is one of the best women's wrestlers on the planet in a list that is not very long in my eyes there's probably only about six that are really really great women's wrestlers that can tell a story inside the ring and can get it done on the mic and make the fans either love you or hate you and you gotta and even looking at that list you have to take one off because Taylor Wilde retired so you gotta even take her off now because she doesn't she doesn't qualify for that anymore uh, not to say that she won't come back later, because she probably will. But I found it odd that they even, uh, you know, Alyssa, Alyssa comes out first. And I don't, I'm like, the last couple of times it's been Madison comes out, gets on the mic, and says, Okay, bring me my next opponent. Bring me somebody, I'm bored. Which would have been over huge. I still would have liked it. Uh, but they changed it up, which was cool. Uh, having her attack uh, Melissa, but it's like she did, she attacked her and hit her with the belt. But it was more like she just took the belt and just kind of went and just kind of like touched it against her and just kind of no sold it, and it was horrible. And Melissa goes flying down the ramp, selling it, overselling it, way overselling it, but trying to make it look good, whatever. 
Uh, I tweeted earlier to Madison. I was like, "Look, I love you, and I've been I've been your one of your biggest supporters. I hope, uh, or I hope I'm considered one of her biggest supporters as far as YouTubers go. Anyway, and I, but if you're gonna hit somebody with the belt, hit somebody with the belt. Don't just love tap them. Hit somebody with a belt. That was an incident uh, years ago. Uh, when I year, it, this has been probably two years ago. Well, it's probably been about three. Well, no, I think it's been two years ago. I was in a match with a guy, and uh, the finish of the match, I was gonna go hit him with. I was gonna hit him with a belt. And earlier in the match, uh, not a lot of people know this. Uh, this tooth. Right here is a fake. It's a crown uh, from my childhood. It'd been I, I had I got into a fight and I lost a tooth, but you should have seen the other guy. And I it was a three way. And anyway, I ended up getting the crown knocked off, and it kind of hurt, kind of a little bit. Dude used to be that I that kicked me used to be a field goal kicker in high school for the football team so that just tells you how how hard he kicked me and he kicked me pretty fucking hard uh... needless to say the tooth went wherever uh, i did eventually retrieve it but uh... i think the referee grabbed it anyway but i hit it when i hit him with the belt and i would have hit him like this anyway i reared back and i just because I lunged at him and swung as about as hard as I could uh, and he told me after the after the match and I, I had people telling me after the match that was one of the sickest belt shots and he took it to the head too there was no and there was no like oh he took it straight on right here like I mean the the belt left an impression on his forehead after I hit him that's how hard I hit him uh, anyway, if you're going to, moral of it, if you're going to do it, do it right. That's all I'm thinking. Uh, and then to just job her out in like 20 seconds. What's up with TNA doing 20 second matches? It's starting to piss me off. Uh, it's getting ever and ever so close, so much closer to me stop watching TNA and stop supporting and stop talking and stop whatever. I'm going to be like, TN who? Because I'm not going to care anymore. Uh, the AJ thing at the end, the, the storyline injury was, was really good in the impact and uh I don't know where they're gonna go with Brother Ray or excuse me, bully Ray. But I liked it. I thought it was good. Uh but now let's get to the meat of the subject. And I'm gonna spend probably just a few seconds talking about this. Cause I'm gonna do a whole video devoted to to the uh the incident. Uh Jeff Hardy at the pay per view. Very disappointed. Just, I'm just very. I'm still, and I know that he is. This is him. This has been him forever, and I'm just so disappointed. Still, it's like you still let me down. Even when I'm already let down to the point I don't care, and then I start caring a little bit, you do something to let me down. I, I just don't know what to say about it. So uh, TNA is pretty much. <laughs> talking to a buddy of mine, Don, and uh, we were just going back and forth about why Paul Heyman should come to TNA, and I'm like, dude, he's not going to come to TNA. I said, they would have a better chance of Vince buying TNA. Paul Heyman's not going to come. Well, I doubt that would happen either, uh, because they would have to give Paul everything they would have to give him the book and say run with it and just turn everything over to him because he's not gonna he's not gonna come in for anything less I already know that and it's not that I read that online or I just happened you know I'm predicting I know it to be a fact Paul won't go unless everything is handed to him because it's kinda guy Paul is he's not gonna take over something unless he's not gonna go anywhere else and be the face of the company Unless he is actually the face of the company. Like in WWE, he was there for a paycheck. That's all he was there for. And I firmly believe that in my heart he needed the money. Uh, the money was good. Vince offered him a lot of money. So he went. 
same reason Bischoff did it. The same reason Bischoff did it. Anyway. Uh, that's my bit for right now. Uh, I want to quickly say thank you to everybody that's been watching my videos. I've been getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of more views. Uh, but it's kind of weird because they're kind of hit and miss. They're like, I'll get like 200 here and then I'll get like 20 in the next one, which is really weird and I don't understand it. But, and my preview videos are, are, are banking a lot of views and then my reviews are, are not. I don't know. Maybe I need to do something better with my reviews. Maybe I need to make them shorter. I don't know. Probably so. But anyway. Uh, so as for now, chaos is spoken. Uh, make sure that if you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel and go back and watch some of my videos. Uh, mostly they're of me high energy, you know, talking. Been kind of down the last week, uh, fighting some of that cruddy mess, you know, with the seasons changing and all. It's starting to uh, starting to affect me a little bit more, but. Uh, you know, I'm still here and I'm still doing videos and I'm always going to be here until God decides to make sure I'm not here. But until then, chaos will be here and chaos will speak and chaos will predict and chaos will shoot. Matter of fact, chaos is going to shoot here in just a minute. But uh, you won't see it until later. <laughs> anyway, peace out good. Subscribe, comment, let me know your thoughts. And again, thank you.